So let us move ahead with the next lab of MVC or I'll say lab number two, routing. So what exactly is routing? If I put in one simple words, routing simplifies your MVC URL. Again, I will repeat. Routing simplifies your MVC URL. Now, what do I mean by URL simplification? Now, if you see uh, developers, right, you know, sometimes developers have a coding standard, naming standards, I'll say. For example, for class names, I've seen developers writing CLS home, right, CLS. They put the word CLS before the class. I've seen some of the developers, you know, putting names of subroutines like sub function, right? So if you have such kind of a naming convention, which is more technical, then it is very difficult for the end user to write something like this. If you see the current code, the end user has to say CLS home slash sub go to home. Now that is definitely not user friendly, right? And specifically when the end users are non-technical persons, you know, for them, it is very difficult to write such kind of URLs. And that's where exactly routing helps us. Routing helps us to create user friendly URLs and those URLs you can map with your technical controller names and action names. So for example, if you see currently, um, the way the, the URL is home slash go to home. Now let's say, you know, you want to make your end user's life easy. You want to say that, okay, he can just cite, uh, just type the site name, whatever it is, localhost 1248 slash home and done. He doesn't have to type go to home, right? So in order to do that, what you can do is you can go to your solution explorer. So go to your solution explorer and go to the app underscore start folder. So you can see here there is an app underscore start folder. And in that we have a file called as route config.cs file. Double click on it. Let me go and zoom this code here. You can see that we have something called as a routes collection here. And that's what is routing at the end of the day. Routing is nothing but it, it is a it is a collection you know, which maps the user friendly URLs with the controller names and method names. So for example, you can see here this map route method. First thing, if I move my mouse, you can see it's a route collection. Again, I'm going to hold for one or two seconds. You can see here routes is a collection. The name is route collection. Okay. So this routes is nothing but it's a, it's a type of route collection. It has a method called as map root. And this map root has three important things. First one, is the key name. Every collection you know has a key name, right? Key one, key two. So you can see by default, there is a default key what he has added. And he says that if the URL structure is like this, controller slash action and the value, then go and invoke the home controller and go and invoke the action index inside it. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and add one more route here. So I'm going to say here control C. I'm going to take this thing. I'll say control V and I will say, this route is for the home. So I'll say home. And when anyone goes and types like this, so when anyone goes and says just home, please go and invoke the home controller and invoke this action, go to home. Right? So I have created, you know, a simple home route here. I've named it as home. If somebody types this URL, if somebody says the site name slash home, it will go and invoke the home slash go to home. In the same way, let me go and again create some more user friendly structures here. For example, let's say this is again a more one more version of home. So if somebody says home uh, slash home, he will still go to home slash go to home. So you can see here now I have created some user friendly URLs. One is if he just types home, he will go to home. If he types home slash home, then also he will go to home. Um, let me go and type one more user friendly URL here. Let's say I will say something like this. I will say if he does not type anything. In other words, if he just goes to the site, then also he will go to home. So you can see now how I can define user friendly URLs and map it to my controller name and action name. So if you see here now, we have three variations of the URL. One is home, one is home slash home and one is without anything. It just goes to the site and the home page opens, right? So if I do a control F5 now very quickly, you can see that it, it has ran the site, but it is saying me that this home one is already in use. Remember I said, right, this name is a key and key in a collection has to be unique. So you can see here, I've said here home one. And again, I've said home one. So let's name this as home two. Okay. Let me build this build solution. 
let me go here and let me do a reload so there it is now you can see as i have said for home 2 in home 2 i have said that if he does not put anything he should he should show me the uh, you know he should show, show me this page right the home page and you can see it has shown right now if i say here okay what if he just puts home yes it will still show me the home page what if he puts here home slash home yes then also it shows me the same home page so routing is nothing but it is creating user friendly urls and mapping those user friendly urls to your controllers and actions now i would like to talk about two important points regarding routing if you remember you know when we opened the route config.cs this code was already present you know what this code says this code is nothing but it's an entry uh, which is made inside the routes collection where it says that you know by default you should invoke by the controller name and by the action name so the first thing is don't remove this code because in case let's say if 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 the you know if if some if any of your structure does not map any kind of controller and action it will try to invoke this key from here and it will try to go and fetch the controller name and action name so in case you know none of your urls match it will try to go and find from this last routes collection okay so do not remove this code that's the first thing and second thing is never make this code as the start code if you do this what will happen is by default you know this route will always get invoked and the all the other routes will get bypassed for example if you see now let me go and build the project if you see for now if i'm going to say here enter you will see that he says i don't find anything for example you can see now i've entered he says i don't know what is happening right if you see your home again nothing is happening so until you don't type the exact controller name and action name you can see the page is not coming now you can see here i have typed the controller name and action name and because you know that is the first thing in this collection here he gets invoked and he shows the page so in other words what is happening is all the other routes keys here are getting bypassed so remember that this code this controller and action format should be your last key in the collection and not the first one now the routes dot map route the map route function actually goes and adds the route inside a collection in the same way there is one more function here which is very important called as ignore route sometimes you know we do not want people to go and access xml files config files axd files right so we don't want people to say okay http local slash you know web.config and download it right so what you can do is you can go and say here okay ignore this route and you can see here there's one ignore route which is written it says that any kind of resource you know whatever is a resource name if anybody types your dot axd do not allow him to invoke or do not allow him to go and invoke that resource or do not allow him to send that request to that resource so you can see here i can go and add one more route here saying ignore route anything with the name config so in this way in case if he ever goes actual config files cannot be downloaded you know so that is one part but in case if even if he tries saying okay http localhost slash web dot config it will not work so again uh, this method is very important in case you want to go and ignore uh, some of the files or some of the routes you know where you say that okay people cannot type this route then you can use this as well so map route to add a route and ignore route to ignore any kind of routes you know which you do not want the end users to invoke now as a best practice i have seen that a lot of people what they do is you know rather than writing this mapping inside the code here they actually go and create a table you know a table with must be simple two or three fields you know which has the key name which has the url structure and and also it has which controller and action to map and what they do is you know they go and use adio.net or entity framework and they go and loop through all the records of the table and add it into this collection routes collection by using the map route so i've seen that a lot of people you know where they have a lot of urls uh, and uh, they want to map those urls to controllers and actions they go and create a simple table so that they can configure that table later on rather than going and configuring inside the code here itself and one of the questions you know which keeps coming now and then when i take a mvc class is that how we can set the start page in mvc means i'm sure that people who have worked with old web forms you know you have a habit of right clicking on a page name like let's say home.aspx or index.aspx so you can right click and say set it as a start page but remember that the first thing is in mvc there is no start page why because the first hit never comes to the page never comes to the view 
right? So that's the first part. The second part is if you want to go and set any kind of a start page, you have to actually set the start controller and the action. That's what you have to set, right? So in case you want to do that, what you can do is you can see here, you know, already I've answered it in this, in this routing section. So here you can see I've created a URL with nothing and I'm mapping it with home and go to home. So what happens is, you know, by default, you know, whatever view this go to home invokes become, becomes my default view. In other words, if you see here, when I do a control F5, that is without any URL uh, structure here, just the site name, it goes and it invokes this home slash go to home and that invokes our view go to home.aspx. So if you see here, this has become the start page. So in case you want to set the start page, what you have to do is you have to go and make your URL structure empty and then map the appropriate controller name and action name, which will invoke the, uh, your home view or index view, whatever it is. Now, one very important point regarding routing. When I started this routing lab too, right? I said that routing helps you to simplify URLs and with that, you know, end users will benefit. Actually, that's a very half truth or I'll say it is not even a truth actually. <laughs> Why? Because uh, end users will not type like www.questpond.com slash home or www.questpond.com slash home slash about us, right? End users will come to questpond.com and from there they will click on hyperlinks and they will go wherever they want to go. So end users really don't type URLs on the site name, right? But, you know, by simplifying URLs, the biggest benefit you get is search engine optimization, that is SEO. For instance, you know, let's say that you have a simple page which, which has computers inside it. Okay, you have written something about computers. So if your URL has the word computers inside it, then the search engine will try to give more ranking to it. Why? Because the URLs, the metadata and also your page content is matching. So in the same way, let's say you have computers and on that you want to also say, okay, slash laptop, right? So you can again go and create one more uh, URL structure saying, okay, slash laptop will go to the same page, slash computer will go to the same page. So basically, uh, you know, when the search engine looks at your uh, URL and when it looks at your content, if they are matching, then the relevance becomes higher for your page. So the biggest benefit of, uh, of routing is that basically it helps you to uh, achieve greater search engine optimization. So I hope that, you know, you have enjoyed this video. In this video, we were trying to understand routing. So great, you know, so we have completed approximately 30 minutes of the tutorial and you can see like in this 10 minutes, you know, I've just explained you routing. So how easy MVC is, right? So we're going to move faster. We're going to move quicker, but stay with me. Don't lose hope. You have to keep continuing seeing this video and ensure that you complete your 16 hours of training. So we are done with 30 minutes till now and pending is 15 hours and 30 minutes. Keep moving, keep rocking. Let's learn MVC in two days, that is 16 hours. Thank you so much.